All right, so the 2022 Lowrider ST is out now, and you guys already know that I have my 2020 Lowrider S, which I love. It's built this channel, and it's sometimes I think it's what makes me me. But I do want that 2022 Lowrider ST, so well, am I gonna trade this? Yo, let's roll that intro. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. All right, so I, I really want to talk to you guys about this today because I'm really trying to make up my mind. That 2022 Lowrider ST came out, and oh golly, <laughs> whoa! What a beauty that thing is! Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, and I want it. Um, but I have it's a, it's a little dilemma. There is a little dilemma quite a little dilemma um, I'm completely in love with my bike love my setup right now as it is like I really do I got the Memphis Shades Road Warrior on there which honestly it helps me with a lot of that wind protection I had that really nice Lapara kickflip seat those Lapara bags I absolutely love those bags they're so awesome the way you're just able to expand them and I honestly like these bags a lot more than the sport glide bags that the 2022 model comes with and with all honesty if I was to get that bike I'd keep these bags and I would put these on the 2022 I'd replace them I think these will look a lot more better especially with that big new FXRT redesigned fairing in the front and especially because I want that gunship gray and the black I think it'll just I don't know, make it everything stand out a bit more um, but going down the line I also have my Galfer rotors that I installed here in the front as well I got my TBR tuner one uh, stage one as we know my SNS air cleaner and a bunch of little cosmetic stuff there grips and levers um, and just a few things here and there there's lights in the front and the back so the crash bar there's the it's, it's just the, the foot pegs and a lot more stuff I just I I really love my setup the way I don't know like the way this bike is right now I love it and you guys know that if you've been following me for some time I had the FXRT fairing I had it here and during that time that's when I had my Dyna and I was trying to really really figure out which bike to put it on we either go all white put on the Dyna or black it out obviously the way it was and put it on this bike I just chose not to I just love the way this bike looks as is and then I also ended up getting this road glide right here so I kind of didn't need that big fairing on that bike so which brings me to my next conclusion because we're gonna talk about pros and cons in this video real quick here since I have my road glide here and that's my bagger do I really need a mini bagger in a way now or am I fine with the way this bike is because that, that's honestly my biggest dilemma I'm like alright well it's basically the same bike but the 2022 is gonna come with the 117 as opposed to the 114 right here it's gonna come with the sport glide matching colored bags on it and obviously that new redesigned fairing in the front which I absolutely love and I'll be honest with you guys I love this new redesigned fairing a lot more than the original one than the FXR, like I, I really do. And that's me. A lot of you might disagree with me right now, but that's okay. I really love the new one. So really quick, let's weigh the options out. Pros and cons, reasons why I would keep this bike. Obviously it's a different, different ride. Um, a total different bike from the Roguelite. I got a bagger, this is not a bagger. This is more of a almost mini bagger in a way. Um, reason two. I just love the the build so far. Everything I've put on this bike, I absolutely love. Um, there's not one thing I hear that I would take off right now. Um, and, and I kind of kind of wanted to add a few more things, but 
the way it is right now, I'm not one of those guys who kind of like take everything apart and make the bike look completely new. Looking to a point where it doesn't look like the original form, I like to keep the original look just by adding a few cosmetic stuff here and there, um, but keeping that original look. Um, so that's another reason. Um, reason number three, obviously, I am just like, you know, I, I love this. I have like a, a connection with this bike. Uh, it's more of an emotional thing. Um, it's helped me a lot with the channel. Um, it's my damn logo. <laughs> it's, it's on it. Um, just a lot of stuff. I love my bar setup, my risers from San Jose Customs, which if you are interested in getting some risers from them, use my code MK. Well, I'll put it down below. Well, it's, it's down below. Just, just shop and yeah, use my code. Save yourself 10%. Reason number four, do I need a mini bagger when I already have a bagger? In all honesty, no. I, I, no, it doesn't make any sense. Um, no, right? So let's go, let's go to, we're doing pros and cons. So reasons why I would get the 2022 Lowrider ST. Honestly, the bigger engine, it's awesome. But does the bigger engine make me wanna give up this bike to get that one? No, it's not that much bigger difference. The big huge difference, what is attracting me to that bike is that fairing, the new redesigned fairing is awesome. It's, it, it looks great. Another thing that's attracting me to that bike is that gunship gray, it, it, that color is, absolutely beautiful it's clean um like i said i'm a bigger fan of these bags than the sport glide bags on it but the sport glide bags do look good they look really really good on it especially in that gunship gray it just it looks nice one thing i don't like about that bike is the gauge cluster i don't like that digital street bob cluster that they put on there um on that bike, uh, on the Street Bob, I think it's fine. I think it's pretty cool. On the new Lowrider ST, I would honestly, would have preferred for them to put the analog. Obviously we know now it's different. Um, on the regular Lowrider S, the new one, it's relocated. We got one on there on top. I don't see why they couldn't do that. Um, it beats me. Um, but honestly, the only thing that's kind of making me want that bike is just the color and the fairing. The higher suspension is awesome, yes, but I could just put uh, the new uh, Legends Monoshock on this and I mean, I, I'd be fine. Um, and then you might be asking yourself, well, wait, hold up. If those are the things that are pushing you towards that bike, A, either get a paint job. No, I'm not trying to pay four or $5,000 for a paint job right now. Thought about it before and I was going to, but no. Um, B, why don't you just buy that fairing and put on this bike? From what I've heard so far, for some reason, uh, which makes no sense to me, it won't fit the, uh, the, these older models, even though it's the same exact bike. So the sources that I'm hearing that from, I don't know if it's valid or not. I really wanna find that out, because if that's the case, and I think that might just be a cheaper option, I just go by the fairing, throw it on this bike, and boom. I. It, there it is, you know, but now let's talk about pricing. I honestly think that the 21,000 and change they want for that bike I honestly think is a reasonable price um, This bike now if you're getting the regular one, uh, well the 2022 it's what around 19 or so so for 21 and change I you're gonna get a fairing if that's the route you want to take plus the bags um, I, I, I I think it's priced at a very, very good price. So good job, Harley Davidson, with the pricing once again. That that was that was pretty good. Um, but I don't know, man. Like I like I said, I love my bike the way it is. Now the reason why I want to make this video also is because there's a lot of you guys out there who have this bike, um, similar setup the way I have it now. Um, and I want to know from you: Are you gonna be trading up? Um, a, B, what what is it about the new 2022? that is attracting you what is calling out to you in for you to either trade up or whatever and three what don't you like about it um if you do have this bike or if you're not going to trade up i want to know the reasons why you're not going to trade up so reasons why if you are interested in trading up and the reasons why you're not interested in trading up um do you think that this bike is fine the way it is. I've already dumped some heavy cash into this bike. Um, and eh, I don't know, it's kind of like, do I really want to start over again? Because it's like, now that it's gonna kind of be bone stock and I gotta get 
uh, another exhaust. I'm gonna get another stage one or stage two. I gotta go down that route and then pay for labor again. And then I gotta need other stuff and another crash bar and another air cleaner and more stuff and more grips and levers and stuff and I'm gonna start it over. But isn't that why we love this bike shit so much? Cause we get bikes and we do everything we want to them and then we get another bike and we do the same exact thing all over again and yeah it's like a it's like a cycle and it's over and over and over and over and over. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I love my bike, but I really do love that 2022 Lowrider ST. I want that bike in my garage so bad. What am I gonna do? Drop your thoughts down below. Like always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. There's gonna be a lot more content within this little topic here because I might be getting that bike or I might not. So tune in if you want me to get that bike and get, drop your thoughts. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.